A water pump increases the water pressure from 25 to 110 psi. Determine the flow work in BTU per pound mass required by the pump if the water flow is at ambient temperature. As always, pause here and try solving this problem yourself before you watch the solution. This is the second example for the flow work and open systems main lecture video. The links to that 11 minute video, the other examples for this topic and the other lectures of the thermodynamics course are found in the description below. We can start by using the expression we derived for what we call flow work. As a quick reminder, we established that the flow work is the component of the W dot term that isn't part of the system work. We use the definition of work to say that W dot flow is the change in mass flow rate times P times the specific volume. Since in this case we have liquid water, liquid is what a pump works with, we can assume it to have the same specific volume at the inlet and at the exit. And from mass conservation, the mass flow in is the same as mass flow out. And since what we want is the flow work per unit mass, all we need is the specific volume. In the compressed liquid property 6 minute lecture, we learned that the specific volume of a compressed liquid can be assumed to be the saturated liquid specific volume at that temperature. We look up Vf for whatever we want to call ambient temperature, let's say 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and use that to calculate the work. You can do other temperatures but it's not going to change much. We substitute that value and the given pressures, and we do a simple unit conversion to find that the flow work per mass is equal to 0.252 BTU per pound mass. If you want to watch some of the other examples on this topic or the other lectures of the thermo course and the other engineering courses, make sure to check out the links I left in the description below. Thanks for watching.